Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make these five really nice and easy fall nails. So I'm starting off with this gel collection from Nail Reserve. It's the Mystic Hues of Fall. Um, these are some really pretty colors for fall. They really, really gave me Gilmore Girls vibes. I really love Gilmore Girls. It is like my comfort show. So I knew for sure I had to make some Gilmore Girls inspired nails today. So I'm starting off with this color called Imaginary Friends. And I'm going to be, I don't know why I started on this nail. Um, these are just like example nails. They're not in any particular order. So I'm going ahead and doing that. And I'm going to mattify it with my Koopa Gel Matte Top Coat. And I'm going ahead and I'm going to be creating a sweater nail. I did have a few people ask me to do a tutorial on this. So I'm going ahead and grabbing that color again mixed with some white. And I'm creating two lines with like a barrier in the middle, almost like a little bridge. And then I'm going to be creating this little chair, like chair uh drawing so you're gonna go down right down and then again down right down but they're not gonna completely connect you're gonna leave little gaps in between if you can see um and this is gonna create that really cute sweater effect that a lot of people always do and the best thing about sweater nails is you can kind of do whatever design you want to do you can make up your own design you can do hearts you can do polka dots um you can create a different type of sweater like basket weave design um there's a lot of different kinds that you can do it just all depends on your imag your imagination and you know just whatever you like like right here i added polka dots right like to the sides and a lot of people don't do that i just wanted to do it so i went ahead and added these dots and i was just trying to create a different type of design um another thing you want to make sure the center design is actually centered on the nail because if not it will be kind of um like it will leave less space on one side for you to do a design like right here on this side i had more space than i had on the other side um i don't know if that makes sense but yeah i messed up so i just went ahead and cleaned it up and fixed any mistakes <laughs> and you're just gonna go ahead and um yeah just do that and like i said any design you want so i'm adding little lines as well another line right here and then i'm gonna add some other lines connecting um on the sides you see right there like i had like less space on the right i also wanted to say happy october 1st i know the first day of fall already passed um i wanted to initially upload this on the first day of fall but october 1st is the day the collection came out so yeah i'm just really excited about that i love nail reserves gel polishes because they always have such good pigmentation you can always use them to hand paint any type of nail art um i use them for all and literally you guys can see i use them in like all my videos for all my sets um what you're going to want to do is not cure your design so you're going to leave it wet and you're going to grab clear acrylic powder any brand at all will work this is just what i have it's young nails speed clear i believe um, and you're going to go ahead and dump it on. And then once it's dumped on and you have it all saturated, you're going to go ahead and put it in your lap to cure. And that's going to make sure it dries with the acrylic powder on top. And that's what's going to give it that 3D effect. So now for the next nail, I just went ahead and did a quick little ombre. But I didn't get it on video. Um, and I'm going to be creating a quick um, plaid nail design. So I'm grabbing the purple from the collection. And I'm going ahead and just creating a plaid. So... The best thing with plaids is that you can kind of also do whatever you want. There isn't any specific type of plaid that you have to do. A lot of people do different kinds. So I just went ahead and did those two colors first. And then you can add white, black, and other different type of tones. Uh, you can do like a lighter purple. It just all depends on you and what you like. Next, I'm grabbing some white gel polish and I'm going to be creating some lines right here going horizontally. Um, I just like doing this because it adds more dimension. You don't have to add white gel, but um, yeah, I'm just adding white. And actually, I don't know why this day I forgot how to do plaid for some reason. I should have looked at one of my old inspos from my old nails that I've done, but I've done some really nice plaids. Hopefully, I'm going to be making some fall nails soon and i will show you guys different types of plaids like within like tutorials of a set of nails um because this plaid was okay but it wasn't one of my favorites that i've ever done um i think i added too much white so as you can see i added white here and i think i try to like go back and kind of like go over it with other colors or something but now i'm going to be adding black i usually uh like adding a black line as well so i went ahead and added this one and it still looks really cute like i actually like it but it's just i feel like i've done better so yeah now i'm going ahead and grabbing this line and doing another one horizontally and another one vertically and yeah this is just going to add some dimension
so now for the next nail um sorry you guys if you heard that in the background my cat is meowing but um now for the next nail i'm gonna be grabbing this color from nail reserve it's one of my favorites it's called opening circus i think i'm not sure if that's what it was called um i can't find it right now but um yeah i'm grabbing this color it is just like a a clear base with little flecks of gold and um a little bit of glitter in it like a shimmer and i really really love this color um it's like not really a color but i really love this for doing these types of nails so i'm going to show you guys how to encapsulate these little leaves um i grabbed a little bit of glitter because i don't like when the nails so so clear i like when you can see a little bit of something in the background so i grabbed some random orange glitter and then i had another orange glitter from michael's i think it's the one that i show you guys right here um it is just like a regular orange glitter so i added a little bit of that as well just to add more sparkle and i'm grabbing these little leaves these are just leaves you can get them anywhere from amazon i'm pretty sure most of you guys probably have them already if you don't i will put them in the description box i get them from aliexpress because they're cheaper but amazon has big sets of these that you can also get um so yeah i'm grabbing different color leaves just orange white or orange yellowish and like kind of red because i really wanted to stick to the fall vibes like i said this these are like gilmore girls inspired and gilmore girls is like all about fall like i love 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 the show i really want to rewatch it um i haven't had a chance to but yeah i really want to do that so i'm gonna grab some base coat gel and i'm gonna go ahead and put just a thin layer of it on there and i'm gonna grab the leaves this is actually a new method that i'm trying that i tried in this video i had never tried it before this but i picked up the leaves with this little uh thing that i got on amazon it's like a light and a jelly stamper in one so i'm kind of grabbing it and curing it but moving it around at the same time so that it cures the only thing that didn't really work was that for some reason the gel underneath you could see it like cured in like a bubble i don't know how to explain it but if you guys have any easier methods on how to do this let me know because i feel like you guys would probably know more than me um it still worked but i just had to buff out that little like bubble thing that it caused with the gel underneath and i realized that i thought i think it was because i used too much gel i need to use a very very thin layer for it to work the way that I wanted it to work. Um, so right here I went in with an even thinner layer. I picked up the leaves again. And then went ahead and put them on. And they laid perfectly flat. Like I really do like this method. It's just that the leaves need to be more focused towards the center I think. And then also um, use very little base gel. And it works really good. So yeah that worked and then another thing as well i'm not sure if i was supposed to use base coat gel or top coat so if you guys happen to know please let me know in the comments down below because i'm not sure um but yeah so i did that and then grabbing some more right here on this space that was empty and doing it again and yeah it actually worked pretty well Next, once you have all the leaves where you want them and you have as many as you want to encapsulate them even further, I'm going to grab some base coat gel again and I'm going to be putting on a very thick layer of this. If you have like a builder builder in a bottle, that would be even better. Um, I don't have one, so I just use the base coat. But if you have any type of thicker gel that you can put on, that'd be the best option because it would just encapsulate it fully and there won't be any pieces of leaves sticking out um so then after that i noticed that it was a little bit too lumpy for my liking like you could totally leave it like that but i'm just a perfectionist and if i was giving these nails to a customer i would for sure make 
like I would for sure make sure that they are very smooth so I went ahead with my nails by dev buffer I love this buffer because it's big and it's perfect for long nails like these nails are extra long square so I'm buffing them out and making it super smooth because I did a thick layer of base coat gel even buffing it down like this I shouldn't hit the leaves like it should just buff out the base coat that was on top so these encapsulated nails do take a little bit more time i usually always do this no matter what when i encapsulate with bigger things like this um i think the only thing i don't have to do it for are those little hearts those small hearts because those are, are those usually lay flat um i think i actually have a tutorial encapsulating those little hearts that i found in my phone that i haven't uploaded yet so i will probably upload that soon um it's just giving more valentine's day vibes and i don't know if i should wait or just upload it now but anyway that's like off topic um yeah i just really wanted to buff these nails out make sure they were super smooth i don't like when you can see a bunch of lumps and bumps underneath the top coat i like when you can see in the reflection of light like when light hits your nail that your nail is super even and glossy and that there's no bumps on the nail so that's just how i am i'm just very specific and then now i'm grabbing a thick layer of top coat and this is just beetles gel top coat and i'm going ahead and encapsulating it once again and this time it's actually finished all the way and it just looks way better now and yeah so that's how i encapsulated these leaves You could see here the reflection in the light. It looked very nice and even. So yeah, I really love this nail. And for this next for this next nail, I decided to be a little extra and show you guys how to do a quick little landscape painting uh, DIY like for beginners. So I can show you guys how to do something really quick and easy that looks a little bit more like you tried a little bit harder. You know what I mean? So I'm going in with the blue color and I'm going ahead and just doing a nice even coat. And I'm going to be curing it. And then we're going to be grabbing some orange gel. So this one is actually also from Nail Reserve. And I'm going to be just dotting it all over the nail. So you're going to just dot it on there. You don't have so much product on your brush to where it's going to be like a big glop of gel. But just have a little bit on there so you can create little dots. And then going with, go in with another orange. It can be any other orange. Create more dots on top. But to the point where you could still see the darker color underneath. And then grab some yellow or even another type of orange. Um, it's all up to you because this is going to be a tree. So then I'm going to be doing little dots on top of that. And then kind of blending them together. And this is going to give the most beautiful fall tree effect. Like falling leaves. Um, or when a tree changes colors in the fall. So now we're going to be creating the tree uh, stump. I think that's what it's called right? Tree stump. So we're going to be creating that um, with some brown gel polish. Um, and we're going to be going ahead and just connecting it all the way to the bottom of the nail. And then I'm going to be sh doing some branches showing through the leaves as well. So it basically just draw little sticks coming out of the leaves in certain parts. So it'll just give it that really natural look. And it looks like the, it's like an actual tree, you know? Um, and if anything, the less perfect, the better, because things from nature are never perfect. If you notice every single tree is different and every single flower is different so when you're creating nature inspired drawings like this it's really easy to just make it look beautiful because it doesn't need to be perfect so yeah i decided to create some leaves falling down as well and then i went ahead and gave some dimension to the tree by creating this little kind of hole in the tree trunk and then also um drawing these little lines down the tree trunk as well to give it more dimension like if the light's hitting it um super easy i really want you guys to try this if you have never tried like a drawing like this because i feel like it is the best uh beginner friendly type of drawing for people that don't draw a lot um like with paint and stuff so now i'm going to be grabbing some orange and i'm going to be making little pumpkins at the bottom of the tree trunk so i'm grabbing orange and just kind of creating three or four pumpkins kind of stacked on top of each other and then i'm going to grab some black gel polish and we're going to be creating the little ridges that make a pumpkin stand out um i do i do already have an easy pumpkin tutorial here on my channel i made it i think a few weeks ago and um i will put it in the description box it's like i explain it more in depth on like how to do this but i'm basically doing that in super super mini form um and i feel like it looks really really cute and then to make it stand out even more i'm grabbing a, um, a really really light orange basically the orange mixed with a lot of white and we're going to be adding just a little bit of definition into the pumpkin so you can see it even more. I kind of hate the glare from my light because you can't really see what I'm doing. Um, I barely notice that right now. But yeah, I'm basically just 
adding more definition to the pumpkins by putting this lighter orange in between the ridges and it's going to make it stand out even more. I really wanted you to be able to tell that they were pumpkins so I was trying to make them stand out as much as I could and if you lose your black lines a little bit then go back in with your black lines again. I think that's what I ended up doing and yeah it ended up looking really cute. I was doing some little stems right there um and then yeah so right here is where I kind of went in with more definition and then after that once I cure it all I'm going to be going in with my matte top coat again. I prefer matte top coat because it makes all the drawings stand out. So yeah, I just prefer that. And then I grabbed a little bit of a tan color and I put that underneath the pumpkins to make it look like it's like sitting, like the tree is sitting on a hill. So I went ahead and did that and blended it out and then adding some definition with some brown, basically just random, like, like super messily, but it makes it look super pretty. So yeah, that's what I did there. And then curing it and again going back over the pumpkins adding more orange where i need to adding more black where i need to so that you can really see them and make sure like they look like pumpkins because i didn't want them to look like just blobs so i really wanted to add a little bit of definition if i could and the key to doing little drawings like this is to use a really thin brush um don't use a thick brush because it'll it'll be harder for you to achieve this type of like detailed work with a thicker brush so yeah i feel like it turned out so cute so good i really love this nail this was my boyfriend's nail favorite nail as well once he saw it he was like oh that's so cute you really need to upload it so yeah i've been really wanting to upload this video for you guys i actually already posted them on my instagram a few weeks ago and i got a lot of love on them so thank you and um yeah i'm excited to announce that i like i'm uploading this video today on the first so now for the middle nail i wanted to do something super simple and easy that some beginners may not know how to do so i'm going to be creating the perfect marbled look and i'm going to be grabbing some blooming gel this is this one is from nails by dev it is like my favorite one it's super good so i'm grabbing blooming gel placing it all over the nail you want to do a nice thick even layer you're going to grab a rounded brush. Any type of rounded brush will work. And then you're going to grab the colors that you want. So I'm using all my Madam, or no, all my Nail Addict colors or Nail Reserve. I'm going to be grabbing my Nail Reserve colors, yellow, orange, purple, and then some white and black as well. And I'm just going to be kind of marbling them together. So you're going to place them like that, how I place them kind of in different directions. And then you're going to scoop it up almost like a little brush, like with the brush you're going to scoop it up and then you're going to put them on the nail randomly and it's going to create the perfect marble you can go in and add more of whichever color you want more of i really wanted more of that pumpkin spice orange color so i made sure to add lots of that one and less of the other colors and then you're going to wipe off your brush and clean up the edges cleaning up the edges is the most important part because this will make sure that your nail is not lumpy and it'll just be super even and smooth so yeah i'm cleaning it up here and i feel like this is just the perfect marble nail doing the, this type of marble with some french tips is so pretty it always comes out looking so good so if you haven't tried that you definitely should it always comes out so pretty and yeah so this is what it ended up looking like and then for the sake of the video, I'm going to show you guys matte and glossy. So I went ahead and mattified it with my Koopa matte top coat. And I'm just going ahead and showing you guys glossy. And then I'm going to mattify it. And then I'm going back in with this really pretty gold reflect um, glitter. And I'm going to be putting that on top. And this is just going to make it have little gold reflex with the marble. This is all the nails together. This is how it turned out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you Gilmore Girls vibes. If you guys haven't watched Gilmore Girls before, you guys definitely should. It is definitely a like a uh, perfect show for fall and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye